you might hear the term used a lot. I know I use it a lot. General education. So when, when people say general education, they're referring to the core requirements for like a bachelor's degree. So you have a bachelor's degree that's 120 credits. Out of that, a lot of it is general education. You might see it listed as liter liberal education at some schools, but it's going to be the common core of classes that that school requires you to take in order to finish with a bachelor's degree. So it's going to be things like writing, math, college with lab, or uh, sorry, um, science with lab, uh, humanities, social science requirements. And they may have more specific things for their school, foreign language requirements, things like that. Those all fall under general education. A student graduating from their Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts degree programs are going to have to meet those requirements as well as the stuff that's required for their major. So the, the stuff in their major is not part of general education, and those aren't general education requirements. And uh, most of the time when you start off going to school, you start off taking classes in general education. So that way, if you decide to change your, your major later or whatever, a lot of it just transfers right over because you've been doing the common core classes. Those are also the classes that you can use credit by exam to really save yourself time with. You can, you can use them for major classes as well, things like business, psychology, but they're, they're best used in those first couple years to speed up your degree. Uh, that's all I've got. I'll see you guys next time.